Um, can we talk about Vin Scully for just a minute? Kevin, you made a movie called For the Love of the Game in which you were pitching in Yankee Stadium, and Vin was doing the play-by-play. -play. Now, you grew up in Los Angeles and must have listened to him. Um, we, we did lose Vin today. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I think I was eight years old, and I heard his voice, and, and it was like, and Marshall just hit Roseboro in the head with the bat. <laughs> and I remember my dad, and I, him, and I thought, I mean, that was Vin Scully. Um, I was able to celebrate him. I was asked to speak for him in his last game at Dodger Stadium, and um, I didn't want to do it. Uh, I said, there's got to be guys that can do it. He goes, no, he wants, he wants Sandy, he wants Kurt, and he wants Kevy. He put a Y on my name. <laughs> and if you're a sports guy, you do that. Yeah. Uh, the first time I ever met Vin was on a golf course where I didn't play very well either, but I was kind of a young celebrity or something, and I just was out there, and these five men played. You usually play with four, but they said, no, come play with us. And I saw, who, I saw Mr. Scully, and I didn't say anything to anybody for about three holes and about on the fourth hole or something like that. This voice said, it's your putt, Kevy. <laughs> he made me feel so comfortable. My dad called me Kevy. And um, of course we listened to him and I did get a chance to celebrate him. He called my make-believe perfect game and he brought us all to tears. He did this thing impromptu the whole game and I thought, okay, like Ron would have said, we got it. And the director said, hey, Mr. Skelly, will we have you here? Would you like to do another one? And he goes, why? What was wrong? And, <laughs> and I saw what was going on, and, and, and I, I just stepped in. I said, no, no. I said, Vinny, that was perfect. And he goes, no, no, no. If he wants another one, Kevy, <laughs> they call me Kevy in front of him. Uh, oh, and, his, and the director went, you know him? And I think, um, so he did it again, and he did it even more perfect. And I think the director was like, oh, this, th we, sometimes you're around somebody that's gifted. We've all been around that. Vince Scully was gifted. And uh, when I kind of didn't want to do a speech, I tried giving it away to Costas. I tried to give it away to Joe Buck. I tried to give it to all the guys, because I didn't feel qualified. And the word came back, he goes, no, Vinny wants you. He loved Field of Dreams, and he wants you to speak. And um, I didn't want to speak, but when I got there, I realized I had a chance to probably talk for all of us about Vin Scully, and that was what I did. So uh, I was, we, we both, uh, he has a special place for us, and he has a special place for LA, not just baseball. Yeah.